be a real live today. But before I go in, I want to say shout out to Yvette Washington. I just woke up, so I got a morning face, whatever. But shout out to Yvette Washington. She cashed out me forty dollars. Much love. Shout out to uh, Samuel. I got a new profile picture, new banner. He hooked me up. So yeah, shout out to him. If y'all need any like uh, custom work, I'm pretty sure he'll leave it in the comments. It's getting kind of cold in here. Pretty sure he'll leave it in the comments, so y'all could go uh, hit him up in the DM, or whatever. Uh, shout out to like La La Laquita Bla uh, Blackton. Every time I go on Facebook, she always sharing my videos. So yeah, shout out to her. Shalom, what up, what up? I need everyone to hit the like button. I need everyone to share my video, this video. This is gonna be a real video. Why God allows the enemy to attack the chosen ones. Let me see who's in there. Let me see who's rocking with me. What up, uh, Abiyah, Shalom, Shalom. What up, Vegan Apples? What's up, Isaac? What's up, Almighty? What's up, Salisa? What up? What's up, Alyssa G? Thank you, Alyssa. I appreciate it. Thank you. Why God allows Satan, the evil one, to attack the chosen. This is going to be a real live today. This is going to be a real live. Jesus Christ or no live. I like that. I like that. Yo, Mark, thank you so much again for the Bible. No problem, Sarah. No problem. Thank you for receiving. Hey, did you read it? I sent a sister a Bible. And uh, that's a blessing, man. All praises, all glory to God. And uh, let me tell you about your enemies, right? Because on this narrow path, you'll have many enemies. And these enemies disguise themselves as a friend. They disguise themselves as a family member. They might disguise themselves as, a, as your wife or as a husband. They might disguise themselves as that, yep, or a baby mama. You know, they might disguise themselves as that. So you got to understand, man, the people you start with are never the people you finish with. Look at Jesus Christ. The people he started with, when Jesus Christ went to the mountains alone, he knew there was a reason why he had to go alone because he knew when he made it to the kingdom that he would have to go alone. And keep in mind, there was two thieves on the cross with him. Where were the disciples at? Sure, Judas betrayed him. Peter did what he did. But what about the other 10? You know what I'm saying? So you got you to be strong to walk this path alone, bro, because a lot of people don't have the best intentions for you. And you got to be careful. You got to be real careful before you burn a bridge because you might have to cross that bridge again. That same bridge you burned, you might have to cross that br bridge again. And you got to understand this. When you cross that bridge, a nigga going to give his whole ass a kiss. You burn a bridge with someone, you know you have to cross again. That nigga's going to give you his whole ass a kiss. So be careful. Who, what, you know, with certain people, just because you're feeling some type of way, you're allowing your emotions to get the best of you, be careful. Because you might have to cross a bridge. You might have to, you, you might need that person in the near future. So never burn a bridge. Now, if you guys have your, your own issues, your own problems, you, you go uh, separate ways. You know, never burn a bridge. You got to cross again. Never, man. And how the enemy, why the enemy attacks God's chosen people is because God allows it. And this is why you got to read the Bible, because the Bible even shows you. Look at the book of Job. Look at the book of uh, Gen uh, Joseph, the book of the Genesis, book of Genesis. Look what happened to Job. The devil had to go to God to attack him. The devil had to go to, uh, to God to attack him. And it was for a greater good. It was for a greater purpose. What happened to Joseph? His own brothers betrayed him. Just like on this walk, you have brothers betraying you. People call themselves, oh, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, I'm this and that. I'm this and that. And they betray you. They, they, they hang you to the cross. They crucify you. They cast their stones at you. And you got to understand this too. When people cast a stone at you, it's coming back to them. The same, and, and you see, I'm a king. I'm a king. So the same stones these niggas throwing at me, I'm going to use it to build my castle with. I, I'm a, I'm a, all those stones that you niggas throw, you hating ass niggas, you hating ass hoes, throw it at me. I'm using it to build my castle, my kingdom. So continue to keep doing it. A king knows how to, all the stones that I throw at him, he knows how to make a, build a castle with it, build a kingdom with it. You know what I'm saying? So continue, keep doing that. Continue, and you gotta understand this too. The Bible says, sit at my right hand and I will make thy enemies thy footstool. So these enemies, these devils that are rising against you, these weak, these weak uh, vessels, these weak, low vibrational people, right? That are, that, that are being used by Satan. Who knows what they're doing behind closed doors, whether, whether it's witchcraft, uh, I don't know. Whatever they're doing behind closed doors, they're allowing their vessel be, to be used and they're stupid, they don't know, you know, because they're carnal people. 
and they're being and they're attacking you right you got to understand this they're being used for a greater good look at joseph when joseph's own brother threw him in a pit bro look what happened to joseph he rose up and became the king the king of egypt he's not even an egyptian he was a hebrew you know what i'm saying look what happened to job right job's own wife told him to curse god man so it's going to be the same people who you build with the same people you oh i love you your own wife bro your own you know a man's enemies are in his own household the same people bro that you build with that you chill with are gonna be the same niggas that crucify you on the cross man look what happened to jesus christ look what happened to jesus christ man and that's crazy to me because it makes me realize that if jesus weren't alone even his own disciples the niggas he broke bread with and all that right then that means i'm gonna i'm gonna have to walk this path alone too you know I, and you got to be strong to be alone man be, you know and you can't a beta male can't be alone but beta male you got to be around someone you always got to be inside a, a real alpha male he, he's cool with being not to say you're always gonna be alone i'm not saying that but you okay with being alone man you're comfortable in your own skin that's a real alpha male and these little hyena niggas these hyena niggas that are rising up against you you gotta understand man these let me give you guys some real game right the the hyena always ends up hungry watching the lion eat they always end up hungry watching the lion the lion eat so all these hyena niggas right all these hyenas are formed up a pack against you because you gotta understand the hyena they need a pack they need a pack to, to be strong they gotta be around people they can't do it alone they can't hunt alone they're not as strong they're not comfortable they ain't confident a lion could go against 10 hyenas by himself I, the, the lion could go 10 hyenas by himself. Even the, the female lions could take out these 10 hyena niggas, you know? The female lions be, you know, they'd be just as strong too. You know what I'm saying? So, and you gotta understand this too. A lot of people, man, are sheep, they're goats. And there's nothing wrong with being a sheep. There's, because the Bible talks about the sheep hear my voice and they, you know, Jesus said that they hear my voice. There's nothing wrong about being a sheep. But one thing I learned about a sheep, right? Their followers are easily influenced. They fall, they like to follow. They don't even know who they're following. You know, they just, whenever they see a pack, they just follow. They don't even know where, the, where they're being led to. A lot of sheep are being led to the slaughter. The Bible says if, if the blind lead the blind, all fall into a ditch. A lot of sheep, a lot of these sheep, they're just following. They don't even know where they're going, bro. They just see a pack, people. Oh, let's go get the, you know what? Oh, okay. Just the blind lead the blind. And these goats. In Satan's world, in this wicked kingdom, in the matrix, you got a lot of people calling themselves the GOAT, right? The GOAT meaning they call it, the abbreviation is uh, the greatest of all time. But if you read the Bible, you know, the Bible talks about the goats being cursed. The goats, going, the, the goats being to a lake of throne and a lake of fire. That's Jesus speaking. I think it's in Matthew chapter 23 or 24. You're like, oh, I'm a GOAT, I'm a GOAT, all that type of stuff, right? And, uh, you know, they're cursed, cursed children. Yeah, uh, Jaden said the goats are stubborn. They are, they're very stubborn. Goats are very stubborn. Hey, you gotta understand, we're all, we went for the airplane. We're all beasts, we're all animals. Some people are sheep, some people are lions, some people are bears, some people are tigers, some people are, are, are sheep, all that. And you gotta, and, and when you build with certain people, right, you gotta understand what type of beast are they? What type of animal are they? Are they a hyena? Always needing a pack, always gotta be around people. Oh, there's a lot of hyena niggas out here, man. A lot of hyenas. Always gotta be around someone. Can never be alone. Ain't comfortable in their own skin. Noise campaign. Yeah, I don't. I don't really pay attention to that stuff, man. The noise campaign. All that. I don't. I don't care, man. The message will be preached. But I gotta let y'all know this, man. Because on this narrow path, you're gonna have many enemies. And please understand this. Please understand this. They're being used for the greater good. When they're casting their stones at you, when they're prosecuting you, please understand this. Read the Bible. Many people were prosecuted. Jesus would have never made it to the next level without Judas. Joseph would have never been crowned king without his brothers betraying him. Come on, bruh. I, I, I could keep going on. I could keep. Uh, David would have never been crowned king if it wasn't for Saul doing what he was doing. He was jealous. A lot of niggas are jealous. A lot of these niggas are Cain's. Cain and Abel. Y'all know the story of Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. A lot of a lot of these people man, are the, the city of the wicked. That's what the Bible calls them. I think it's one John chapter three verse twelve. The city of the wicked. A lot of these niggas are Cain's, bro. A lot of them. They jealous. They envious. They bitter. Because God is blessing you. 
and they could be blessed too, but they're so busy watching your plate, their own food, the plate that God blessed them with, because God blesses the evil and good. The Bible says that he makes it rain on the just and the unjust. So God's giving them their own plate, but they, they, they're too busy looking at your, uh, your plate. They're too busy. They're too busy looking at someone else's plate when they got the plate right in front of them and their plate is getting cold. Now when, they, now when they get to eat the blessing, it's too cold. They, they don't like it. It's just too cold because they're too busy focusing on the next man. Worry about your own damn self, bro. A lot of Cain's out here. Cain and Abel. Y'all know the story of Cain and Abel. Look what, look what happened to David, right? If it wasn't for Saul, Saul tried to kill this man, man, because his time was up. You can never be a king forever. It's time to uh, next, next man up. You know what I'm saying? God rises up and, you know, all that. And speaking of a king right jesus christ is king of kings so if you want to call yourself a king that means you got to follow christ you got to have allow you got to allow yourself to for christ to be the head of your life you got to do what he says so you know there's a recent situation i was going through i didn't get this negative energy but i didn't feed into it you know i'm more i'm walking more wise the bible says to be harmless as dove and be wise as a serpent so i'm walking wise i'm you know i'm not casting stones at nobody you know i'm just minding my business drinking my water going to the gym you know what i'm saying and just doing what I'm doing, you know? And, you know, um, I, don't, I, I honestly don't want to even speak about it, but let's just say this. Let's just say this. When negative, net, when negative energy is getting thrown at you, bro, you got to be strong. And this is a test of your strength, too, because sometimes God will allow the enemy to cast the stones at you to test your strength. A lot of times when people get cast of stones on, when, when they get judged or people are, you know, uh, doing whatever, gossiping, slandering your name, all that type of stuff, right? A lot of times God could be allowing them to do that to test your strength. How are you going to react? How you react is your strength. If you if you react back and, oh, you cast the stones back, bro, that means you're spiritually weak, bro. But when you just let it go, like, oh, nigga, I ain't, I ain't messing with you, bro. Just keep it. That's strength. That's self-control. That's discipline. That's strong. See, a lot of people on this earth, bro, they think that being the opposite of meek, like the fruits of the spirit, right? Meek, uh, kindness, goodness, uh, love, joy, uh, self-control and faith. They think that's weak. The, pe the carnal people of the world, the, you know, the, the worldly people, they think that's weak to operate in the fruits of the spirit. And that's how you know this world is backwards. That's how you know the earth has been given over to the wicked. A lot of people are deceived out here, man. A lot of people are believing the, the lies, the strong delusion that's been given over to them because they've received not the love of the truth. So, you know, these reprobate minds, and uh, like I said, the same stones they throw at you, you just got to collect all those stones, right? All those stones that they got, and then just build your kingdom with it. Build your kingdom with it. You know what I'm saying? The greater good, God will use your enemies to level you up, bro. Like I was saying, Jesus would have never made it to the next level without Judas. He would have, Jesus would have never made it to the next level without Judas, without a Judas go. Without a hating ass nigga, without a nigga who's jealous and envious of him. He would have never made it to the next level, man. So understand this, when, when you get getting attacked, Pray for these people, bro. The, the, the vessels that the devil's using, you got to pray for these people. And it might be hard. That's also another test of spiritual strength. When someone's casting stones at you and you're still praying for them, God forgive them. It's just like when Jesus Christ was on, was on the tree and, and they hanged him up, right? He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He could have sent angels to destroy all of them, bro. But he had, he had spiritual strength to be like, nah, you know, forgive them. They don't know what they're And they didn't know what they're doing. They didn't know uh, who, was, who sent him. They didn't know. And that's spiritual strength. Because the average nigga who's, a, who's getting prosecuted, crucified, would be like, God, destroy them. The average person, 99% of the niggas would be like, oh, God, destroy 99% of them. But someone who, who's a child of God, man, someone who, 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 who received God's mercy and grace, when, when you receive God's mercy and grace, you're going to be merciful to other people. You're going to give because you understand that God forgave you for your sins. No one's perfect. We all sin. We all fall short. We all do things we shouldn't be doing. So don't we, don't we want our sins forgiven, right? I know I'm not perfect. I can't speak for everyone else, but I'm not. So I know I mess up. I do mistakes. I'm not a perfect being, you know? I'm still in this flesh. So I got to battle every day. So I would want my sins forgiven. So I'm going to pray for the people who don't know what they're doing. Because even though we, we, we say we thought, uh, we're, uh, we're not willfully sinning, we're doing things, you know, day by day that we don't even know. So that's why I ask God to forgive me, you know? And uh, I made a video on my other channel. Y'all go check that out. It's uh, my Mark the Messenger show. It's my backup channel. I go live there all the time. I was talking about how to how to overcome the religious spirit. And a lot of people who, who come on this walk, they get judgmental. They get overrighteous. They don't know what a balance is. They don't know what moderation is. And most of the reason, the reason why it's like that is because what you've been taught. You've been taught by your friends that you meet, uh, the church system. 
uh, and all that. But y'all, y'all go check it. That's a long video. That's a long, uh, long video on the uh, live freezing. Someone said the live is freezing. Can y'all hear me? Like Jezebel did her own husband. Yep, you already know, Demi. That's that's facts. That's facts. Being emotional isn't weakness. Being over emotional. Being everyone has emotions. Being over emotional. Someone said, uh, my life is freezing, guys. Can y'all hear me? Sarah said they being used for the greater good. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's wisdom and knowledge. See, sometimes God will allow the enemy in to give you more wisdom, to give you more knowledge, to give you more understanding. That's why all these hating people, man, all the people hating on me and stuff like that. I know in, in due time, I'm gonna gain wisdom and knowledge. They're, they're, they're just blessing me. That's why I bless them. The Bible says to bless them who hate you. Cause I know that God's gonna use them to bless me. And not freezing my hand. All right, someone said it was freezing, so I don't know. Not freezing, all right, for sure. All right, you're not for, maybe it's your live, maybe it's your connection. Yeah, maybe it's your connection, bro, cause people saying they can hear me. All right, but like I was saying, okay, cool, okay. Like I was saying, never burn a bridge, right? With someone that you know one day you might have to cross again. Whether it's a friend, uh, anybody, bro, anybody. Never burn a This is a valuable lesson, guys. Never burn a bridge. You know, if you want to cut ties with someone, do it in peace. Because that's not burning a bridge. But if you if you show you real who that you really, and let me tell you this too, about seasons. When you, because in life we meet, we, we make friends, we make brothers, we make relationships, all that right and you got to be careful with who you build with whether it's a female or, or a brother or sister or a brother because you got to understand when we meet people most of the time we're meeting them on, in the season of love when they're loving they're lovely dovey and all that type of stuff but that's just for a season there's going to be another season of them going through go, going through some shit all right and when they're going through something you got to understand that's the that's, they're going to show you who they are they're going to show you who they, they're going to show you the, the, the mask that the, the, the season of love they're wearing the mask they're covering themselves up you got to understand this, bro. Please, 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 please. They could preach Jesus Christ. They could pray to all the most high for a season. And the next season, they're doing witchcraft. Next season, they do, they, they, you know, they try to do voodoo and all that type of stuff. It's, it's seasons with these people, man. It's season. Please understand this, bro. Before you build with someone, give it some time. Never, you know, a lot of brothers, they hear about, you know, oh, I got multiple wives. It's not a sin, okay? And, and it's not. But you got to understand, you just because of that doesn't mean you could just go build with everybody, you know, plant your seed in all these females. Nah, bro, you gotta really, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. You gotta understand this, man. When, you, when you're building with someone, please understand that it's seasoned with people. You might just meet them in the season of love when they're in the season of peace. But then the next season, they're in a time of war and now they're showing you who they really are. Now there are some people in a time of war, they still rock with you, you know? They might go through some type of stuff, you know? And we all do, but they still rock with you. They don't, they don't show you those horns, you know? They don't take off that mask. They weren't wearing the mask. So you, you got to be very, very careful, man, with the company with the company you keep, bro. You got to be very careful. Now, and sometimes, too, like I said, God will allow the enemy in to give you more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding, or to level you up in life, to get you to new levels. So, so, so that's why it's all about, you got to really pray, man, ask God, give me, please give me wisdom. Please give me knowledge. Please give me understanding because the, the devil is being used for a greater good, man. God is in control of light and dark, which means he's in control of good and evil. So when these evil people come your way and doing what they're doing, understand God's in control of it all. And God will judge. People always say, God could judge me, God could judge me. And he can. And that's the worst type of judge. I'd rather have some, a human judge me than God judge me to keep it real. Because a human could just judge and like, oh, this is not. But God, he could send your soul to hell. God could judge you and send your soul to hell. But so people say, oh, only God could judge me. You're damn right he can. And I, I would, like I said, I would rather have a human judge me. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the human's not perfect, so they can't judge me. But God, he could judge. So please understand when these enemies are coming your way, God's good job. You gotta understand, your enemies, right? They attack you publicly. They, they let it be known, social media, real life. They talking on the cell phones about you, but God attacks them privately in secret places. Some of these people can't even sleep at night, bro. The Bible says a wicked can't sleep at night unless they cause trouble in someone's life. Unless they cause havoc. You know, the wicked can't even sleep at night, bro. They up till six in the morning, you know, getting hit by all type of weapons. The Bible says he who rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. So when you're doing good to someone, right? 
and they're rewarding you evil for the good you're doing, evil will not depart from the house. God will send an evil spirit in their house, bro. This is some real game, bro. Woo! This is some real game. God will send an evil spirit, an unclean spirit to torment them. Some of these people can't even sleep at night unless they have the TV on, bro. Some of these people can't even sleep at night unless they have the light on. Because they need the light of Christ in them, not outside. They need it in them. But they're so carnal. They're not thinking that. It, they, and they had the light inside you. That means you got to sacrifice. You got to give up certain things. And these people ain't ready to do that. These people ain't ready to give up the world. These people love the world. The love of God is not in you. If you love the world, remember that. That's not what I say. That's not what Mark the Message, that's what the Bible says. If you love the world, you love this material stuff and what the world has to offer, the love of God's not in you. And you gotta understand this. God attacks them privately. You might not be able to see it. They might be on social media, you know, showing their fake life at the club, you know, the Hennessy ball, they turn it up, you know, they happy, but at nighttime, these people can't sleep at night, bro. You know, with the blood in their hand, you know, turning, living their best life, right? Traveling and stuff like that. But these people can't sleep at night, bro. Their baby mama is causing problems. Their kids are sick. They got, they got a whole bunch of issues. But you can't, they're not showing that on social media because social media is a highlight rule. People on social media only show you what they want you to see, bro. It's all, it's just like, you know, just like in, back when we were in high school, right? We played sports, football, basketball. We only show the best clips. We only show the clips where we got and one, where we, you know, assists, all that type of stuff. We didn't show the clips where we turn over the ball. We didn't show the well, we didn't show the highlights when we turned over the ball. We didn't show the highlights when, when when we made a mistake. We only showed the good stuff. That's just like social media is. So don't let social media fool you. All right. When people reward evil for good, God will send an evil spirit. You gotta read the book. You gotta read the book of Samuel, right? When Saul was doing what he was doing, trying to kill uh, David because uh, David was anointed, David was going to be the next king, God sent an evil spirit to torment him. David came and he was playing music and the evil spirit left as well. That's why music is powerful. It's a powerful frequency. Certain music, not all music, but certain music you listen to, the, the evil spirits, they don't want to hear that. They'll flee from you. The, if you play certain music, it's like holy music, righteous music. Some of the Hebrew brothers, you know, shout out to New Breed. Shout out, I mean, there's a whole bunch, man. My sound color list, I have a, I have a whole bunch of truth uh, music. When you're playing certain truth music, the, the evil spirits, they gotta leave you alone, bro. They did it to Samuel, or uh, they did it to uh, Saul. So please understand this, man. These people, they attacking you publicly. They let it be known publicly, whether it's online, social media, whatever. But in real life, they have demons in their household, bro. Unclean spirits, and, they, and those demons are watching them. They, they looking around, but they, they don't like, you know, they're seeing things, but like, you know, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Nah, that's a demon in there, bro. Huh. That's some real game now. That's a demon in there, bro. And God send that because God's in control of these demons and these angels. I got angels around me. I ain't doing no wicked stuff. I ain't doing no, I ain't doing witchcraft behind closed doors. I ain't, I ain't slandering nobody, gossiping about people, stealing, lying. I ain't doing that, bro. The Bible says angels, because I, I let you guys know the evil, now I let you guys know the good. When you fear God, there's angels in the spiritual realm, bro. You don't need crystals. You don't need sage. That's not going to do nothing. You think that you think those sage and the crystals are to get the evil spirits that were sent by God to, to, to just leave you alone? Y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas is delusional. Y'all niggas going through that strong delusion. Y'all think of sage and crystals and tarot cards and horoscopes and you doing yoga, right? Y'all think that's going to get the evil spirits that were sent from God away from you? You dumbass nigga. <laughs> I mean, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all are crazy, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Uh, wisdom is too high for a fool. Uh, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 7. Wisdom is too high for a fool. It's just too high. It's just, what's up, Ariella? What's up, sis? Okay, Ariella in the building. Okay, who else is in there? They don't even know they don't. They don't. And that's the sad part. And they don't even know when they're attacking you, God is using them. The devil, God's allowing the devil to use them, and they're being used for your greater good. Sit at my right hand. I will make their enemies your footstool. So continue to hate. I love it. I love it because I'm going to keep rising up. I'm going to keep leveling up spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, financially. I'm going to keep rising up. Rising my vibration. And see, when your vibration and your aura feels so strong, these demons, these witches, these wizards, these satanic people, uh, all of them, right? When they come your way to try to attack you, it just like, you just laugh. You just, you know, your vibration's so high, like, you just start to laugh, right? Because you can see right through it. Because the Most High gave you eyes to see. Y'all you know, you know that song I dropped? The Most High gave you eyes to see, ears to hear. Bless ye. Hey, bless is the man who endures to the end. You know, you got to fight this life of sin. We have to earn our crowns. Yes, we do. 
Your crown's inside you though, guys. Your crown's inside. The Bible even says, Jesus said, let no man take thy crown. Let no man take the glory, the glory of God. And let no man take it from you. Let no man take it from you. Because they, they're gonna, these demons are going to try. Because the Bible does say weapons will form. The Bible does say that. The weapons will form against you. The Bible does say that, yep. But they won't prosper. It also says that too. They won't prosper. So you got the, the, the carnal target individuals, right? They're talking about EMF, V2K. And these are energy weapons, right? And they do exist. But the Bible says no weapons form or prosper. So are these people really, do they really belong to God? Because the children of God are protected from 5G. They're protected from um, the uh, chemtrails, the, the EMF. They're protected from the, the, the wicked. I don't know about them. I, I don't know about them. But the, the, the righteous, the, the seed of the righteous, the seed of, the seed of God, we're protected by 5G. We don't got to worry about 5G towers, chemtrails, um, you know, all the stuff, that, all the poison they're putting out, the, you know, all, whatever, you know, Esau is doing. You know, whatever he's doing, we don't got to worry about that, man. But the wicked, I don't know about them. The seed, the seed of the wicked, the Bible says the wicked are astray from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is, is as a poison of a serpent. Wow, bro. When people are gossiping, they're, they're casting the stones. They're, it's, like, it's like poison, bro. And let me tell you about a snake, right? When a snake bites you, it might hurt. It hurts. You know, you might go to a hospital. You might be facing death. So when these snake niggas bite you, when these snake hoes bite you, it might hurt. Yeah, it might hurt a little bit. But hey, you heal and you move on. You, and you grow from it. When the snake bites you, you know, and you in the next day you feel hurt, you feel betrayed. Yeah, when the snake bites you, it hurts. It might nibble on your skin and you know, stuff like that. But let me tell you this, too. God will always warn you. Let it, God. Let it, bro. God will always warn you about people. And when you ignore the warnings, now it will cost you, bro. It will cost you. When you God will show you the red flags. God will show you people's intentions. God will show you their motives. He will show you multiple times, bro. And if you don't listen, it will cost you jail time. Going broke, getting evicted, baby mama drama. It's going to cost you, bro. You got to pay attention to the signs, bro. You got to. Now you want child support for 18 years. Now, uh, you know, you got to you know, face probation time and stuff like that. Bro, I'm telling you, God will show you people, man. And if you choose to ignore the signs, you know, you're choosing the, the, the pleasures of the flesh. You got to reap what you sow in life. Everyone in life reaps what they sow, whether it's good or evil. Everyone got to reap what they sow, man. That's why I choose to do good. I choose to obey God. And I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that, uh, you know, I'm holier than thou. No, absolutely not. But at the same time, bro, I understand me not obeying the voice of God will lead to, will open me up to a whole bunch of curses. A whole bunch of curses, bro. A whole, but when God tells you you gotta leave someone alone, a family member, a friend, a relationship, you better listen, bro. Because if, if you stay in that relationship, now you got AIDS, now you got gonorrhea, now you got herpes. You know, you stay in that friendship, now they're setting you up. Now these niggas setting you up spiritually or physically. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, man. God will always show you people, bro. He will always show you people for who they are. It's just a lot of times we don't listen. We, we're disobedient. A lot of times we're doing drugs so we can't hear God, bro. And I'm not I'm not casting themselves at anyone who smokes. I don't care, bro. People always say, Mark, you always, I'm not judging anyone, bro. You live your life. I'm just letting y'all know the real. It's sometimes hard to hear the voice of God, bro, when you're doing, you're opening up a whole bunch of doors. I'm just saying the real, bro. Not judging nobody. I'm just keeping it real, man. Sometimes it's hard. it might be hard to hear the voice of God. And you got to understand this, too. You can't get on social media and teach if you're doing things, you know, and in real life that doesn't match the teaching. You can't do that, bro, because God will also allow an evil spirit to attack. A lot of you niggas ain't fit to teach, bro. It's just attention. A lot of these niggas are like females. Attention. They just want to be want to be seen. You know, ain't doing nothing with life. No wife, no kids, no job. Ain't doing nothing, bro. They just want attention. A lot of these niggas are very effeminate. Beta males, man. Always got to be around someone. Always got to be always like a female, man. Spiritual transmit. Oh, yeah. Yup. That's a fact, uh, Charles. Spiritual transmitted diseases. Bad soul ties. Yes. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up. There's there's a, there's a, there's STDs, right? The physical where you get it down here, gl uh, gl glamidia and all that. But there's also a spiritual transmitted disease. I'm glad you brought that up, bro, because that's very very real. I made a video about that last year, talking about that, man. And let me tell you about that. That's very, bro. I'm telling you, y'all gotta be careful who y'all have sex with, bro. You gotta be very careful. I understand sometimes we meet people and they might appear to be real. 
you know, they might appear to be chosen. They might appear to be, but that's just on the surface, behind closed doors, or what's laid up in the heart. That, that's not them, bro. Like I said, you sometimes when we meet people, it's just for a season, a season of them, you know, loving God. That's just for a season. And next season up, they back to serving Satan. They back to, you know, serving their master, Lucifer. I, I mean, bro, I got testimonies on testimonies, bro. I could talk about this forever. But you got to be careful who, who you have sex with. Like me as a man, I'm strong. So, I, you know, I, it, it ain't nothing for me to cut. What's that song called? It ain't nothing to cut that often. <laughs> it ain't nothing. But some of these dudes are weak. They got that. They allow that soul tie. You know, Eve is weak, right? A weaker vessel. So it's harder for Eve to break free from the soul tie. But for a man, you got to be strong, bro. I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care how many likes she gets on social media. I don't care how fat her ass is. I don't care, bro. If you're leading my soul to hell, I'm going to cut your ass off. I'm going to cut you off, bro. I don't care how pretty you are. I, that, that doesn't matter how much money you giving me. And one thing about the devil, right? He will use a pretty female to buy you things, to give you, you know, and that's how he tricks you. Don't let the devil trick you. Don't let the devil trick you, man. He'll use a vessel, right? And they'll and they'll they'll buy you, take you on trips. They'll buy you everything you want. And that's just a devil, bro. And now not all people who do that are the devil, but I'm just saying sometimes when God can use it, when the devil can use a vessel, he could trick you by it and they'll show you fake love. That's what it is, it's not real love. They're showing you fake love. And you might think, oh, oh damn, this woman's for me, you know. Because a woman's called to be a help, help me for a man. So she's helping you and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, okay. She, and she's do, going the extra mile. She's going the extra mile. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, but nah, bro. You got to be wary of the, of the people you bring in in life, man. Because like I said, it's all seasons. Don't be so quick to open up to people, man. Don't be so quick. I'm not saying don't open up to people. I'm saying don't be so quick. You got to really know who you who you got, bro. Know who you got. Because when times get tough, when the, when the tides pick up, that's when, it, when, you, when you see people who they are, bro. So be patient with people, man. Be patient with people because I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of people got baby mama drama, went broke because of an evil woman, bro. Of an evil woman. A lot of people, man. Look what happened to Bill Cosby. And he's innocent. I think he just got, he got out of jail. See how they lied on his name? A lot of people are going to lie on your name. But the truth will come out. In due time, the truth will come out. Time always, one thing about, I learned about time, people say time is illusion, but that's not true because the Bible says, in the end times, God will speed up the time. So it can't be an illusion. God's in control of the time. People say that time heals all, and that's true, but time also reveals all. In due time, you, you, you'll see people's true intentions, who they really are, time will expose everything. If they're slandering your name, they're gossiping about you, time will expose everything, bro. Always understand that, man. Always understand that time will always expose people for who they are, man. And I need everyone to like this video. I ain't going into y'all like the video, man. The 38 people in here, I need to see 38 likes. I need everyone to share this, but shout out to Laque La La Laquisha Blackton. Every time I open Facebook, she's always sharing my videos. So shout out to you. Shout out to Ariella. She's always retweeting my, uh, my, my videos on Twitter. Shout out to her. And shout out to everyone else. Uh, there's a mother uh, female. She's always sharing my videos on Instagram. Shout out to her. Shout out to Alyssa. Always sharing my videos on Facebook. I'm shouting to everyone who supports me. I'm shouting you out. Everyone who supports me, I'm shouting you out. Everyone who says super chats. Uh, there was a sister who said $250. Wow, I shouted her out too. What's her name again? I don't know how to say her name. It's Ma Madison. Leave a comment. I want to know how to pronounce your name. M Madison. Ma I'm sorry, but you know what I'm talking about. She said, that's crazy. God bless you. God bless you. And that money you gave me, I bought uh, Sarah. I don't know if she's still in here. I bought her a Bible. So thank you. I'm also passing out more Bibles too. I'm doing more ministry work in real life. Out here on social media in real life. So I appreciate everyone showing love. And that's the times we're in, man. Where people watch you. There's people who want, who made it past 20 minutes of this video, ain't hit the like button, ain't sharing the video. I'm not gonna call them agents, but I'm just saying that that's, come on, bro. When I'm, when I'm watching a content creator, someone who I'm, I'm subscribed to, right? Or if I'm not, and if, it's give, if they're giving me raw information, some knowledge, some wisdom, things that they spent some spiritual food. We go into McDonald's, we go into In and Out, and we get physical food, right, for our flesh. But we don't support the people who give us that soul food, that spiritual food. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a carnal world we live in. That's, that's the main reason. People don't really think like that. But it's not all about money. Like I said, you can just hit the like button. You all can share, you know, share the video, subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you nothing, bro. It, it, it don't cost you nothing to hit the like. It don't cost you nothing to share the video. But like I said, I'm, I'm supporting everyone who, who shouts me out. I'm shouting you out too. I'm, I'm going to take a note that my next video, I'm, I'm going to write all, all y'all names. I'm going to write, oh, he, she's sharing my video. He's sharing my video. I'm, I'm, shout, I'm shouting everyone out. But understand this. The devil will, God will allow the devil 
to use your enemies as a footstool. So don't get mad at them. All right, just pray for them. Pray for them to see through it. Pray for them to forgive them for they know not what they do. Pray for these people, man, because they need it. They ain't praying for themselves and no one else is praying for them. So you might be the only one. You might be the only light in their life to pray for them. You might be the only one, bro. Be like Jesus Christ, all right? Let's not operate in ego and pride. Let's not operate in a, in a low vibration. Let's operate in love, all right? And this might be hard if you're a carnal person, if you got hate inside you, you got unclean spirits, a demon inside you, it's not gonna let you pray for people. You know, it, it might be hard, but be real. I choose to be real. I choose to be righteous, not over-righteous, now, now, you know, not a religious spirit, but I choose to be righteous to the point where I'm going to choose someone. When they hate on me, I'm going to choose to love them. When they're gossiping about me, I'm going to choose to pray for them. You know, a lot of these niggas who were cussing me out and stuff like that, I, th that night, I'm, I'm praying for these niggas. That's crazy, bro. But see, I remembered Jesus said for, when Jesus was getting hit on the tree, he was forgiving them and they were nailing him to the cross. They were nailing him to the tree, nailing him to the cross. So the same thing's going to happen to me. The servant is not better than the master. The same things Jesus Christ went through as a servant of God, bro, you're gonna go through the same things, bro. You're gonna go through the same things. The Bible says, touch my, not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So you protected. All you anointed kings, you protected, bro. Don't worry about the people who rise up. Trust me, man, read the Bible. David was protected. Um, uh, Samson, now see, God allowed the devil to use, to use Delilah as a testimony. Delilah was a succubus spirit, for those who don't know. That was the second bit spirit. But see, God allowed Delilah to do what she was doing for a testimony to Samson to let you know that a woman could be your downfall. You're, a woman could be a downfall. Now, a woman could also build you up too because the Bible talks about the Proverbs 31 woman. Hey, I, I need to ask y'all a question. A question for my subscribers. If you're watching this pre-recorded, leave a comment. But has anyone met a Proverbs 31 woman in real life? Not on social media. But has anyone met a Proverbs 31 a woman in real life? I'm just curious. Do they exist? In, 20, in Babylon in 2021, I'm just be because the Bible says that it's like finding gold on the street. I have never found more than, I, found, I think I found like a dollar on the street before. I never found 20 or $100 on the street. So I, I'm just out of curiosity, has anyone met a Proverbs 31 woman in real life? Do they exist? Is it a fairy tale? Not once, everyone's okay. So Charles said not once. Lost GT said, nah, bro, they don't exist. Justin said, yeah, they're in church. Kiki said, I don't like these females. Sorry, for, sorry to hear that. Almighty said, no, bro. Draw Yah said, no. Okay, okay. How do you test the spirits? Uh, discernment. That's how you test the spirits. Okay, so uh, AP said, rare. Chris said, yes. Okay, okay. Demi said, me. Okay, I would love to see that, Demi. I would love to see that. Where you at? I would love to see that because I, I don't know where they are. Like, I've met hundreds of women, bro. It's like draining to even think about it. Like, where are they at? And all the damn same. Eve is all the same. Bro. And I'm not saying this to be like bitter or like that because even the book of uh, Ecclesiastes lets you know, even King Solomon said he didn't find one righteous woman. And I can't find one either. So all the kings went through what I'm going through, man. All the kings went through what I'm going through. All praises. But nah, man. Hey, someone said. Y'all need to link. Yeah, we do. We definitely need to link. If you're a Proverbs 31 woman, we need to link ASAP. Because, uh, I mean, shoot, it's getting bad out here, guys. It's getting real. It's getting tough, man. A lot of hoes. <laughs> a lot of women for the streets. Let's just say that. A lot of women for the streets. If she's not for the streets, she's for the campus. A lot of them. It, it's just, it's, it's getting tough out here, man. And I feel bad for them because a lot of these sisters, they don't want to do that. They're just following the crowd. Sheep, you know, sheep just following the crowd. A lot of, they, a lot of them don't want to be hoes, man. A lot, a lot of them don't want to do that, but they're just following the trend. It's a trend to be a hoe. You got a lot of prostitution rappers. A lot of the prostitution rapper, like back in the days, the female rappers, the little Kims. Um, what's that shorty's name? Um, uh, that la, la, la. Um, all the, the, the female 90 rappers, they, they were rapping about real stuff. Now the female rappers, all prostitution. It's all prostitution rap, man. Like, what's going on in this world, bro? What is going on in Babylon? I'll make a song called that. What is going on in Babylon? I'm just in myself in life. I, I study a lot. Research. Yeah, I heard that Proverbs 31 woman, I heard she just stays home. That's why you never read her outside. I heard she just stays home. That's what, that's what I heard. They're mostly carnal. Yeah, a lot of them are. I'm at work. Wait, I'm a work in process progress my goal is proverbs 31 my favorite scripture. that's what's up demi okay that's cool hey, if you're not a proverbs 31 woman hey if you strive to be one that's what's up we hey we all we all you know i strive to be a king 
I didn't start this way. I'm just continue leveling up, leveling up, and, the, and God, God is allowing the devil uh, to make me make to le rise up. To you know, y'all can't see it, but let me, let me show y'all. God, as a footstool, one, let me show y'all, man. Let me go, let me climb up. Let me climb up. Hold up. You see these little footsteps? God, <laughs> let me climb up. Let me climb up. All you devils, right? I'm right here. I'm on this level in life, and all your enemies rising up against me. This is what's gonna happen. I'm rising up, stepping on you. This is what I'm doing. Come on, bruh. Come on, man. All praise to God, man. All pra oh shoot, woo. Oh, all praises on both sides. All praises, man. Enemies will be your footstool, man. You're just gonna rise up. You're gonna rise up. I noticed more females getting OnlyFans too, bro. SMH, Succubus first. Yeah. The, fe the females with the OnlyFans, they're not Jezebels. They're Succubus. You got to know the difference between both of them, bro. It's a the Jezebel is demon-possessed. Succubus is a devilish. It's a devil, bro. Like a, a female devil in the flesh. Tell me, bro. Y'all got to be careful about these OnlyFans girls. And a lot of these girls, like a lot of these girls, they won't tell you they have OnlyFans. You got to like get to know them more. And then, then it, once they got you trapped... Then they let you know they got OnlyFans. Then they let you know they're strippers. Once they got you in their snare, then they let you know. It's like, wait. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, man. This is some crazy times we're living. Babylon, what is going on in Babylon, bro? I'm telling you, man. The Bible says, a strange woman is a strange woman's mouth is a deep pit, and he who's hated of God will fall therein. All these OnlyFans, these strippers, they got, you know, this strange woman. You gotta think about it, man. A woman to get naked in front of a whole bunch of men, right? Stripping or, or or showing her body, playing with herself online, that's not mentally. That's not right in the head. There's that's something not. And I'm not judging. I'm just keeping real. But mentally, that's not. There's something going on up here, bro. It's there's something. That's a spirit, bro. That's not normal, man. I pray to become a husband. That's what's up, Justin. That's what's up. And, you know, it goes both ways, too. Let me be very clear. It goes, but a lot of us, man, we got to work on ourselves, too. You know, I always, I always go on, on Eve. Let me go on to Adam, too. You know, we, we got to work on ourselves, too. Absolutely. And that's why I preach on accountability. We have to be accountable for our wrongdoings, man. That's how you grow in life. You're not, if, you, if you don't accept your, your, your bad mistakes and your bad choices and stuff like that, you're never going to grow, bro. So always accept your flaws. Always accept your faults and confess them and just keep it moving. Keep, keep it forward. Keep pushing. So yes, us man too, we gotta work on ourselves too, not just Eve. Don't settle for a woman that ain't versed in the scriptures. Yes. Yes, that's the truth. That's that's the one way to check if a woman, she's a, a righteous woman, I guess you could say. She knows scriptures. That, that's a that's a good yeah, that's a good woman. Uh, that's, that's a good one for sure. Mark, you still wear fringes? If so, why? I wear them sometimes. I don't wear them all the time. I don't have them now. I have my white tee on now, but I don't wear them all the time. I wear them sometimes. The reason why I own like 20 fringes is because I had a bunch of sisters who had businesses. I was just supporting them. So I have like, I gave a lot of, a lot of, a lot of my fringes to the homeless. A lot of them. You won't find her in the trees. Oh, <laughs> that's the truth, CC. You will not find no Proverbs 31 woman in, in the club. Hell no, nah. yeah. Hell no, nah, man. At a party, nah, man. And see, a lot of us, man, we go to these places thinking we're gonna meet them there, bro. No, you're only gonna meet a woman who's for the streets. At a party, a club, you're gonna meet a woman for the streets, a woman who's for everybody. If that's a woman you desire, that's a woman you want, then hey, be my guest. But I'm good. I already dealt with these type of women, bro. It's the same thing. They try to throw you in jail. They try to put you on child support. It's the same thing with these hoes, bro. It's the same thing, man. So be careful. You know, the type of woman you're bringing in your life, man. Be very, very uh, careful, man. You know, Sarah said, you know how to find a Proverbs 31 woman? Pray for one and keep praying for her. If the Lord will let it be done, I believe the Lord will send her to you. Absolutely, Sarah. That's facts. That's a fact. What do you think about I haven't read that book yet, uh, Justin. I'm about to to reread uh, re uh, the book of Enoch. I'm about to reread that. Hard to get. Hard to not get a few months every day. Obviously, 
times. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of bad. When I was fasting for seven days, I met the baddest female in my life, bro, at Walmart. And uh, I got, you know, sh you know, I'm a dude, I'm a man. So if I see a pretty woman, I ask for a number. And she was Colombian. Like, what? Like, what are you doing in, in San Jose? So, um, it was, but it was just temptation. I think she, I think she, you know, it was some type of organic portal, bro. Cause it was something weird about her, bro. Like I got that weird vibe and, uh, it was too good to be true. Yeah. It was just too good to be true. And I'm fasting. I'm on day five. And then, you know, my flesh started battling it with her, you know, I'm supposed to hang out with her. I'm, but it was just a test. I just told her, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on this fast, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna let no female, female get me off purpose. So yeah, there's a lot of baddies out here, but hey, man, like I said, if she's not ruining the scriptures, uh, uh, you know, you know, but yeah, it was a test. Yeah, it was a test, uh, Omari. That was a test. I instantly knew it was a test. Even when I got her number, I knew, like, this is like, I already knew the way she was dressing, like, I already knew, bro. Like, but you know, sometimes we struggle and stuff like that. Sometimes we, we hope for the best, but when you hope for the best, you gotta prepare for the worst. I've been getting attacked a lot lately by strangers. Hey, hey, never fold. There could be two solutions. One, you're allowing them in, or two, God just using them for their greater good. Two solutions. LOL, yeah, Jezebel's and, and Succubus love Walmart for some reason. <laughs> I don't even go to Walmart. I was just getting some water real quick. But, yeah. I'm reading the book of Enoch. That's what's up. I hope you and New Breed are so good together. Yeah, yeah, yeah we good. Uh, I just went live with New Breed. Uh, expect us to build in the future. Expect us to, and, and the enemy, see, <laughs> man, the enemy, uh, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna, but yeah, expect me and New Breed to, to, um, to make videos in the future. The enemy thought he was slick. The enemy thought he was gonna do something, but it failed. It failed, I'll just say that. The enemy thought he was slick using these weak vessels, these low vibrational vessels. He thought he was slick. God used him for a greater good. All oh, praises. What's up, AC? It's not letting me see uh, all the saints need a link. I agree. I agree, uh, Ariel. All the saints need a link. It's not letting me scroll up all, all the way to the top. But absolutely. All the saints need a link. I agree. I agree 100%. We need, we need to. The Bible says we're separated. Uh, but in the end, we'll all be come together. I think as we elevate, God will put them in our lives when we're ready for them. Yeah, I, I agree. Never, like I said, never rush for a marriage. There's no need, especially if you're young. I'm 28, so I got plenty of time. But I definitely don't want to have children at 35. You know, I don't want to be old. Can you teach how Delilah was a succubus? Look, read the story. What did she do? That was, Delilah was a succubus, bro. Believe that. Believe it, man. I actually dealt with a Delilah spirit a couple years ago when I first came on the, on the walk. All right, yeah, it's not letting me, uh, it's not letting me scroll all the way up. Damn. Throw a BBQ for us then. If I had a lot of subscribers, I would. If I, if I had a lot of subscribers, I definitely, um, I definitely, uh, would, uh, throw like a little, you know, get together. That'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be dope. For sure, for sure. I would love to meet up with the, uh, people, all, all my subscribers. I would love to meet up with all y'all. I met up with a few subscribers back in the days. Um, back even before I even had like a thousand subscribers, I used to meet up with a lot of people uh, back when I was making TI videos. You turned back to look at her and she disappeared. A little matrix. Yeah, that's true. I'm telling you, when I met that Colombian girl, bro, like, like I knew instantly, like I knew she was going to be used to just to test me, bro. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, could, I was on day five of my fast. And I'm telling you, once, once I was texting her, like, I was getting kind of weak. If you know what I'm saying, I was getting kind of weak. But now nah, it was just a test, man. And I just blocked her, man. I don't want to deal with that. Bunch of problems. Wow, they need the light of Christ in them, not outside them. That really hit me. Yeah, they do. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. There's people who can't sleep at night. Sir, and hey, servant of the Lord, he's the one who made my uh, profile picture. So I'm shouting him out. Uh, if y'all need any graphic designs, y'all hit him up. I'm pretty sure at the end of this video, he, he'll leave his comment. And I'll actually just put his Instagram link in the description because you support me, I support you too. But 
um, people, they, they look for outside forces, right? For the light, the TV screen, the laptop, the cell phone. But they need it inside them, bro. And that's the Holy Spirit. They lack the Holy Spirit. That's what it is. They lack the Holy Spirit. It's because how can you have the Holy Spirit, right? But when your heart so belongs to the world. How? How is that possible? You know, when you have the Holy Spirit, you're automatically set apart. You're automatically, you automatically become set apart. What does set apart means? It means holy. It means that you become clean. And I recommend everyone to fast. Fasting is so important on this walk, bro. Fasting is so, so important. After I was done with my seven day fast, I've never felt more pure in my life. I've never felt more cl cleansed. I felt like I was cleansed from all my sin. I can't make this. And now I'm not saying to go seven days because I almost did go to the hospital. I almost did pass out. That's some real stuff, bro. I almost did pass out, but um, go as long as you can. I'm telling you, bro, I just, I just, I'm, I'm doing that. That's, that's going to be something I do every year now. Seven day fast. I never felt more cleansed, bro. Please fast, guys. Fast and pray. It goes together like a PB&J sandwich, right? Please be fasting and praying, especially if you're going through something in life. Um, or if you want to break a bad soul tie, that's good to fasting. It's good to break a, a bad soul tie. And guys, not all soul, a lot of people say soul ties are bad. Not all soul ties are bad, man. Some, you know, when you're married to someone and it's, it's a good, you know, y'all both serving Christ, that's not a bad soul tie. It's a good soul tie. It's just a lot of the times these bad soul ties are due to fornication, adultery, homosexuality. It's due to a whole bunch of sin. It's all sin. Sin and leads to bad uh, soul ties. Uh, uh, yep, masturbating, porn. That's true. Absolutely. That's why. Fasting could it's like if you want deliverance a lot of people are waiting for someone to deliver them, bro But honestly, bro, it's inside you already man. You you have the tools yourself You don't have to wait on a man. You could start fasting start praying, bro uh, Get baptized man. I'm telling you bro. All this stuff will help you guys. I'm telling you Please, please, please fast. It's free. It don't cost you nothing to fast. It don't cost you nothing to pray It don't cost you nothing, bro I'm mostly doing good with my walk, but I struggle with lust. Yeah, a lot of people struggle with uh, with lust. Lust is a uh, is a powerful demon. A lot of people struggle with porn and masturbating. And like I say, guys, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. I'm gonna say this every single video, because that's what you need to break free from these sins, bro. From all these demonic sins, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Please listen. The, and people ask, how do you get the Holy Spirit? The Bible says if you ask God for it, for it he will give it to you freely, free of charge. You don't got to go to the store. You don't got to go to Amazon and wait for it to ship to your house. It'll go to you immediately when you ask God. Get on your knees. When you ask with the good intentions, a pure motive, a pure heart, you really want it. Ask and you shall receive. The Holy Spirit is how you break free from porn, masturbation, bro. I'm telling you, man. If I didn't have the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't be making these videos. Bro, I'd be still selling drugs. Still chilling with these Jezebels is lost. I'll be lost, bro. Going partying every weekend, just lost, man. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Please, oh, please, man. A lot of people, that, like the New Agers, you know, they got seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. You don't need that. Seducing spirits are going to lead you to hell, bro. The Holy Spirit will lead you to peace, life, prosperity, man. And, and to heaven. <laughs> and heaven. That's the ultimate goal for all of us, right? To make it to heaven. Because at the end, of all this is done, bro. You're either going to hell or heaven. The Holy Spirit, you promise with the seal of the Holy Spirit, which means you're going to heaven, bro. And when you have the Holy Spirit, it doesn't mean that you're going to be sinless. I'm not saying that, bro, but I'm just saying it's going to make it a lot easier. It's going to make it a lot easier with the Holy Spirit, man. So, yeah, the Holy Spirit is how you break free from porn, masturbation, adultery, uh, homosexuality, whatever lust it is, man. Whatever lust demon it is, the Holy Spirit. And when you break free, break free from those demons, right? You're gonna get attacked, wet dreams. Uh, you're gonna have sexual dreams, but stay strong because that's only for a certain time. That demon is, is trying its hardest because it knows it's gonna leave your vessel. It knows in due time, you're, you're being clear. It can't inhabit your vessel, your vessel no more. So it has to flee. It has to flee from you. It has to go to another another vessel that's, that's opening themselves up. It'll go to them. So yeah, I'm telling you guys, the Holy Spirit sets you free and leads you to all truth. I haven't relapsed in five months. That's what's up. That's what's up, Prince. Keep it up, bro.
Thank you, Justin. He says, it's really a means on how well we know our precepts like our brother Mark. Yeah, you just got to study to show yourself approved. Guys, I'm telling you, bro. I would read the Bible. Eight, now, I would go too hard with it, bro. I would read the Bibles. I'm not, I'm not joking, bro. Before I finished it, when I, was, when I was on the process of finishing it, I would read it seven hours, go to the gym, repeat the next day. I would, I would read I'm not joking, bro. I made sure to finish the whole chapter. Like, I was really on it. I was hungry. Just like how we get hungry for food. I was hungry for the word of God. I was hungry. My soul was hungry, bro, for the word of God. Because that's going to set me free. That's going to break, break free from all the demonic strongholds, all the bondage, the mental bondage, the, four, the 400 years of slavery, slavery my answers went through. It's going to set me free, bro. The truth sets you free. And a lot of people saying the white man's the devil, all these black people saying the white man's the devil, they're actually the devil themselves. A lot of people, call, a lot of people say, oh, the white man's the devil. Uh, they're the devil, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. A lot of people saying, oh, the white man's the devil. They're the devil, bro. The, uh, so Demi says, you are being obedient. The Bible says, through one man's obedience, many were made righteous. But through the uh, disobedience of one man, many were made sinners. That's Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Through the obedience of one man, many were made righteous. Through the disobedience of one man, many were made sinners. Romans chapter 5, verse 19. So you being obedient, you could make someone be righteous, bro. You could, you, could, you could lead a pack to be righteous, to be followers of Christ. And, and that pack you lead could lead other people. It's a chain effect. It's a chain effect. Just like the, 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 the disobedient people, they could lead, lead people to be sinners, and that they could lead other people to be sinners. It's a chain effect. So choose who you're going to serve. Choose my brother and sisters. I'm, hey, I wanted to wrap this up 20 minutes ago, but hey, y'all, y'all keep it lit, lit in the chat. Romans breakdowns the flesh and the spirit. Yes, it does. Romans chapter eight is really good to read. Hey, um, Sarah, if you're still in here, read Romans chapter eight. I don't know if she's still in here, but read Romans chapter eight. Can a man put fire in his lap and not be burned? Yes, that's a good script. I'm righteous, but I'm not turning down no buns. <laughs> you funny, man. Uh, okay, servant. Um, I got to Yeah, I, I got you, bro. I'll DM you. Check in Instagram in a bit. A Zoom meetup. That's what's up, Sarah. Maybe we could do that. How many times did you read the Bible before you were able to quote scriptures and memorize scriptures? Um, I think once. I'm, I think once. I, um, I could. Yeah, I can't give you the exact answer, but I would say probably once. Yeah, I think probably once. Are you a Ethiopian? No, my mom is. My mom's a Eritrean. Uh, my dad's Haitian. Your testimony is tremendous, Mark, from creating a leading. Weed maps to carry in your cross. Study the word, proud of you. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it, Ariella. Hey, you've been you've been rocking me for a long time. I appreciate you. You've been showing a lot of love. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it. Shout out to San Diego. Shout out to San Diego, California. <laughs> Shout out to San Diego, California. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. All praises. All praises. All right. Thank you, uh, vegan. Thank you, bro. I remember when I first read the Bible myself. The Holy Spirit led me to all of the elevations that's what's up the holy spirit is our best friend that's what's up diego okay okay all right guys time to wrap it up hey i appreciate i'm so glad they didn't kick me out i thought the security guard was gonna come hey no one up here perfect man so i'm just gonna start making videos at this time man pleasure building with you guys man i love you all thank you so much i hope i hope you um I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, if you can, share the video, like the video, re uh, share it to your family members through a text message, social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember, God will always use your enemies for a greater good, man. So don't hate on them, bro. Just pray for them, wish them well, and keep it moving. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. I'm out. Peace.